So you said you grew up here in the neighborhood? Yeah, I'm originally from 16th and Kenneth. Okay. Yeah. So how does the neighborhood today stack up to how it was 20 years ago? You wouldn't even... It's, just, it's a complete change, you yeah. know? Just from just the people that you just see walking around now, it's just like, you wouldn't even think, mm -hmm. you know? Because North, um, North Lawndale by itself, period, has a lot of history. Mm -hmm. From musicians to politicians, you know, but nobody even knows about it because, you know, I guess we don't report our own stories, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and plus North Lawndale has the highest concentration of gravestones. Does it really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons why we like, man, you know, this uh, NSP money that's coming out, mm -hmm. um, this is the stabilization program. Um, we can go back and, and do some rehab work on these graystone buildings and get people back in there and get back people get people back into the homes that way. Mm -hmm. You know, because some of these homes you can get some of these graystones right now for twenty thousand dollars. Really? So yeah. So that's what I was trying to get started last February as far as our rehab program. Because um, there's in some cases, if you do a two unit building, your mortgage can be cheaper than what our houses will be, hmm. and then you have income coming in. Yeah. And that's a that's a plus. So this is what made this area kind of sell. This little park here. Mm -hmm. So I think in this cluster, we probably built about 10 houses, some on 12 places, and then we got a couple here, and then this one on St. Louis here. This is another one of our houses right here. This is actually the first white couple to move in and want to break ground homes. Really? Yeah, they're older couple. That's a full basement house. That's Peter Payne, Naomi and Peter Payne. I guess if you, you can say that if Jeff Dennis and then John Miller didn't move and they worked for Breaking Ground. Okay. <laughs> so those are other other couples there. But you know, that's another full basement house. Well, this is a base house right here. You can see some people already put the security shutters on their windows. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out another way to build something like when we went to Kenya, they had the bars inside the house. Mm -hmm. I think that's more attractive than putting those shutters in there. You know, I still want it to look like a brand new house, but I don't want it to look like a fortress. So, right. You know, you know. What 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 made you feel like you wanted to stick around here and uh, well and work here instead of? Well, my father got in. The, he went into the military. Mm -hmm. So one of the things for me was that I know people that are from around here. They never even locked, they never even left their block, yeah. you know. So for me to be able to go to college and then come back, it was just one of the things that I, it was just something that I always said I was going to do, mm. you know. It's just because people just never seen, like they would, you know, I'll walk, I'll come up like yesterday, I just came from my closing and I just had a suit on. So all the kids are like, where you just come from? <laughs> you know, you know, they still don't get the picture, you know what right. I'm saying? That, yeah. you know, you can still be successful and still come from this area. You know, I know things are hard, but you, know, you gotta kind of give people a mind frame that you can change, you can do better than what's going on right now. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things is just people are just, they're just giving in. So this, you know, seeing me and other people, it just gives them hope. Yeah, so one of my biggest things is is I'm worried about seeing all these churches and all these liquor stores here mm -hmm. you know, on the same block. It's like a church liquor store, you know. Yeah. That that worries me, you know. Shit, that, uh, yeah. But you know, as I say, the city. I tell people, the city just stopped working. They stopped on Western, Western Roosevelt, mm -hmm. you know. And just recently, we just got like these these street light things and like the little lights on the side of the streets, those new ones right there, we just recently got this like all this week. Mm -hmm. So I was like, see, I, they're, still they're still changing. So this this area is gonna be so much different in five, 10 years. You know, they're still knocking down some of these old buildings and they're still in the uh, C, uh, was it CIC. They're, they're taking over a lot of abandoned buildings and they're gonna rehab it. So that's that's kind of some of that where the NSP money is coming from too. Were there, were there some plans for the community that were underway that kind of ground to a halt or disappeared once the economy sort of tanked? I mean, if you, it, yeah, or... Yeah, but they've been like that for, for years, right. you know? Like, yeah. we were gonna have yeah. BET Studios here at one point. Uh, okay. Uh, the Martin Luther King Center was supposed to be getting built. I mm -hmm. think they're still trying to shoot for October and break ground on that. You know, this was just recently built, you know? So there's things that stopped and there's things that's growing, you know? So we, we got these little strip malls that are coming up now, you know? But again, 
it's a liquor store. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a it's a phone place, you know. So it's the development's coming, but it's it's not to the point where, you know, we're not tolerant about what's going on. There's not like a lot of high end restaurants here. Mm -hmm. You got a couple of restaurants here that which are, are great restaurants, but most of the stuff that you're gonna find around here, a lot of fast food places. You know, yeah. Versus like Oak Park, you can you can find a cluster of a good sit down restaurants, Italian or whatever kind of food you're gonna eat. Here, you, you can find more chicken stands than anything. You know, <laughs> yeah, wings and things. That's what you're gonna find. Yeah. So until the culture can actually change, you know, we still got a lot of work ahead of us. But you you know, it's gotta be somebody to make some kind of change. Mm -hmm. you know? You can't hold an elected official responsible for anything if you if you don't even hold her responsible. You know, so that's why I'm so adamant about how the alderman won't even give us a, a sit down and tell us what she wants. Mm -hmm. You know, but then you hear in the newspapers as well she's she's waiting for this developer and this developer to put a new Nike store in. I'm like a Nike store. I'm like so now you for the take the, the the only money that they got and, and make them go buy some old shoes. <laughs> you know, so it's things like that is just. It just irks me, you know. But you know, as long as they keep rehabbing these buildings and getting people back into them, and they do a good quality work, you know, like they just open this store again, you know, that's a big store that you know that nobody even thinks about in this community. But those little small mom and pop stores keep us going mm -hmm. in this community.